In the spring of 2008, 25 Marquette University students participated in a social experiment. The students were in a class called the Nature of Cities. Their instructor, Dr. Jill Florence Lackey, challenged her students to create and maintain a mock identity. The mock identities, they assumed, were that of full-time students working full-time jobs, paying them $7 an hour. Some students had a family to support. This was not simply a classroom simulation. It was a real community experience in which they needed to find housing, jobs, develop a budget, and pay their bills. At times, unexpected illnesses or expenses were challenges they had to overcome. By the end of the semester, five became homeless. Summarized in their own words, here is what they learned. At the beginning of the semester, you know, we all started off with similar situations and it was just very apparent very quickly how one or two um, positive or negative uh, life chances could um, really impact a person's life who's living on or near the poverty line. Um, you know, making it apparent that there is a thin line between just making it and becoming homeless. And uh, participating in this experiment really forced me to place myself in the shoes of someone else. Um, and although, as I said, my mock identity didn't become homeless and is seemingly in an okay position now, um, I, I struggled to pay her bills, um, to find education for her child, um, to file her service paperwork, to pay off her debts and what have you. And it just gave me a newfound respect for people who do this on a daily basis, especially someone who has to account for a child. Um, I myself don't have children, um, so I just you know, really uh, respect someone who is able to do this in their daily life. The fact of standing in line, waiting, appointments, and I don't know why social programs make you have appointments in the middle of the day, or you have appointments where you have to wait for two hours, um, and all the forms you have to fill out, and that's just really disheartening to sit there, and I mean, you, you feel like a cow in a line just waiting for the slaughter. We had just received one of those little garbage, uh, little um, grocery bags from the Boy Scouts asking to put money in it for um, food pantries. I normally throw those away or use them for garbage. This month I actually put food in it for other people. I never saw that side of the story where you know a single person with a bachelor's degree in this type of situation. So I think I'm pretty glad that I went through this and uh, and again, I hope that in the future I can uh, volunteer my time more to help people that go through these situations. Uh, in real life, I now have more appreciation of single parents, uh, sticking to budgets. I've made donations to food pantries as a result of this, doing some research, volunteer work with my church, and learned about some of my church resources um, and where some of my tax dollars go for these programs.